Vlog, vlog. I hope you guys will enjoy this short vlog of mine. Um, this is uh, in Cebu, Mactan Airport, on our way to Purahai. <laughs> excited, excited, excited. Again, because we're finally after a lot of years and we took the Philippines and to be able to go back to Boracay again. Meron din akong recommendation. Makikita niyo dyan? Ano yung nakikita niyo? Very matikad na kulay na suitcase. Ayan, yung pink at blue. Amin po yan. Um, one advice, you can buy it in Primark. Maganda yung ano, quality niya. Affordable. And kung ayaw niyo mawala yung ano niyo, luggage. Ayan, isang advice niya. Bumili kayo matikad na kulay. And you can really see it from afar. O, oh, ba? And they have a lot of travel essentials then and travel storage things. So we finally arrived at Katiklan Airport, Boracay. Actually, may dalawang airport yung Boracay. You have Calibo and the Gudefredo Ramos, that's Katiklan Airport. Between the two, yung Katiklan yung much closer and it provides a lot of convenient access to Boracay. A uh, few minutes lang, andun ka na. Um, you know, you don't have to worry if you're flying from Katiklan kasi um, sa transfer, to go to Boracay is very easy. Um, saglit lang, if you know your way around, there's a lot of transfer, budget transfer, and most of the hotels there, um, meron na silang i-arrange na transfer from the airport all the way to your hotel. So yeah, very convenient. You should visit Burakai, guys. So hold me like an ocean I need your soothing motion Please help me take the pain This is on our way to the jetty port. We took a van from Katiklan Airport. Um, meron na maghihintay dun from our hotel. Our hotel um, provided um, a van to take us to the jetty port. And from the jetty port, meron na let the van from the hotel to send us from hotel mismo. Ang dami kong sinabing hotel. Oh my gosh. Yes, marami na ring, um, airport transfers. Very convenient po. Maraming um, budget transfers din na ma-avail ma nyo. Yes. And yeah, it's Boracay. Let's have fun. Let's enjoy. I hope you guys are enjoying my vlog so far. Ayan na po kami. Malapit na malapit na sa island. Actually, it's typhoon time. 
hangin guys, grabe. Grabe, kahangin. Awa, awa. Awa. Sumangin. We're here. Pieces in my room. Are you coming over? That's cool. I could use a little something to do. We could go outside, take a little ride if you want to. That's cool. I did what I supposed to. There's nothing left for me to do. So now I'm poking out. can go to the pool to the pool Actually, during our stay there, on our second day, medyo nakakatakot guys kasi grabe yung hangin, lumilipad yung front windows ng um, restaurant. But yeah, we just have to pray and enjoy yung stay and pag tumila naman ng ulan, um, marami ka namang magagawa. We can do um, land Tours, but unfortunately, the water sports was closed at that time during our stay. Like most of the days, at I think 
yung water sport were lucky on the last day naging open siya so we were still able to enjoy a bit of all that you know games makikita nyo maya maya but um, for the meantime we plan to go to ATV Comfortable, and no one seems to hold me like you do. Mm -hmm. You're so wonderful, a star could never shine as bright as you. Mm -hmm. Even the dark days still see light, even the birds still sing at night. Every word just comes out right when I'm with you, with you. I feel so lucky I met you And I still um, can't believe that I get to See those eyes from more than tonight I swear you must have felt from the sky And I this is on our way to ATV. Ayan, nag enjoy po kami doon. And after that, I will show you guys, of course, Boracay is a lot of food. Um, what else? Drinks, friends, party at night, walk around the shore, walk around the place in Boracay. Maraming magagawa doon while you stay. Even with the typhoon, guys, nag enjoy pa rin kayo. Look at that. Happy face! <laughs> Boracay, you are lovely. So lucky I met you and I still can't believe that I get to see those eyes from more than tonight. Swear you must have felt from the sky and I feel... <laughs> Sunny day today, mm -hmm. less air, less wind, and it's safer here. We travel from Boracay, the mainland, <laughs> here, okay. and it's about like 30 minutes by e bike. Oh, e trike rather. Yes, air. Yeah. 
Yeah. And how much is the e bike? Oh my god. <laughs> Actually, we negotiate like 500 at first. <laughs> then, when we almost about to get here, they change the price to 650, and that's fucking shit. <laughs> so, yun ang as what my tito said, you know, um, we took that e trike and it cost us 500 per hour for four packs. That if meron kang dagdag, it's 50 per head. So, marami kami no ng time na yun. So, we had to pay more than what is expected. <laughs> Nakakatawa and masayang kasama yun dito ko. We are right now in Ilig Iligan Beach. Ayan yung picture na yan. We took, um, we had our pictures taken. Um, for 150, ayan, ang galing galing nila mo pictures, guys. Dun sa crystal kayak na yan. It's 150 per head. And you can take a limited pictures with your own phone. And ang galing, ang galing. You should, it's a must, you know. That is sabi ko, gagawin ko ba yan? But yeah, I'm happy I did. Kasi it was really worth it. Yes, this is Ilig Iligan Beach. And it's not so windy at this part. So we're lucky. And it was sunny there. Ayan si Manu mo ng picture sa akin. Change oil. Battery di ay. A lot of battery. Battery. So you can see, ayan na nga, naubusan na kami ng battery sa e-trike. So we had to stop. And itong si JR Vito, ang aming kasama si Kuya Driver for the whole day. Masaya namang kasama to. Very accommodating. And um, he's always there. Hinihintay niya talaga kami. And we are on our way that time to Puka Beach. Ayan, may mga shops din sila sa gilid-gilid. And grabe, napakaganda doon. Really, really nice beach doon sa Boracay. Huwag na huwag kalimutan sa listahan pag pumunta kayo ng Boracay to visit Puka Beach. Really beautiful, promise. How can I make you change your mind to see me? So yeah. Puka Beach everybody. Cuz baby all it takes is the same vision for me to get your heart going just as fast as mine. Cuz I could be your guy. I see you by my side. Maybe I'm just blind or Maybe I'm too serious Try to keep it in my head But it isn't really going well Feeling like I gotta meditate But I can't escape And now I hate myself I hate my thoughts But thinking about you And I'm thinking a lot Cause I'm never around you I will tell you but I don't know how to Say what I'm feeling Now I've been feeling down Cause I've been This is Bulabog I think normally yung water sports dito Nangyayari But Water sports are still not allowed to play and again, I'm not happy with it. But at least the sun is shining. Hello, Boracay. There we go. At least we can do kayak still, paddle. Oh wow! Kasana <laughs> oil. And you, Catherine Bernardo. Wow! Lebre na tayo, Charo. Lebre. Papicture lang man. Hello. 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 Here, we're in Bulabo Beach. We're going to start! Banana <laughs> Finally, open our water sports. We can finally do the things that we want. And luckily, uh, nag extend si Tito. And nakasama pa siya dito sa araw na ito. 
Um, we went there like I think um, 10 a.m. in the morning just to be the first ones to to um, avail all the things to do. Sa tubig. And we did banana boat. Um, what else did we do? I don't know the names, but yeah, the helmet diving that was amazing. And um, para sailing too bad. Uh, that was too windy pa no time, so it wasn't available. But we did a lot and. Um, we enjoyed it so much, and we also did private boat. Um, uh, I don't know the sunset um, boat party, private boat party. But then too bad, wala ding sunset, which is I was really looking forward. Um, doon sa Boracay kasi napakaganda talaga ng sunset nila yun yung nililook forward ko sana na makita ulit after few years but too bad typhoon nga wala nga kami nakita but still it was fun This was the private boat, uh, sunset party uh, thingy. Um, yeah, it was gloomy weather though, but we still did had fun. We those ano mga kasama namin ang saya nilang kasama. Very accommodating. They prepared um, food for us, banana cues, cocktails, um, drinks, everything we could ask for. They prepared it and. Um, yeah, and we did a little bit of sightseeing. We saw a lot of things, a lot of places na magaganda sa Boracay. We just really enjoyed um, the place, you know. Philippines is so beautiful. Boracay is so lovely. Ayan, that's Kehoe. Sabi nga nila, very famous yan noon sa Boracay. Maraming pumupunta dyan. And we're lucky to be able to see it. And nung nakakatuwa, it was such a fun experience because after 6 p.m., everybody has to go back. So ayan yung lahat ng boat. Kung magka-chance kayong pumunta sa Boracay, these are the list of my favorite restaurants there. Maya's Restaurant, Playa, Two Seasons, Smooth Cafe, Obama Grill, Los Indios Bravos, and Los Mestizos. Masasarap yung pagkain, good ambience. And yung una sa listahan ko is yung Maya's. It's Filipino and Mexican um, restaurant and it's really very yummy. So it's a must. If talagang pwede kayo makapunta doon, puntahan nyo yung Maya's restaurant na yan. Good ambience, magandang service, and it's also affordable. This was our last night in Boracay, and I must say, despite of the typhoon, the rainy weather, we still did a lot, and we enjoyed it, and we cannot wait to go back again. Thank you so much, Philippines. Thank you so much, Boracay. You are indeed lovely. Mwah! Beside me, I don't mind when it's just us two. The corner coffee shop. And that's it for my Baraka vlog, everybody. I hope you guys enjoy. And till next time, Baraka, thank you so much. So that's the end of our vlog. Everybody, thank you. Thank you so much for all your support. Salamat. I hope to see you in my next vlog. Sana nag enjoy kayo. It's me, D, signing off. But Akai, you are lovely. We cannot wait to go back again. And of course, kahit na typhoon or kahit na anong bagyo, tingnan lang natin yung magaganda sa paligid natin. And I'm sure, magiging okay yung lahat. Bye!
sana okay kayong lahat and I'll see you next time. Bye. Change.